we want some love. Okay, I just need you to walk away for a second, okay? Oh, shit. Come here. Okay. Yeah! Shit! Get in the car! It opens in Africa where poachers discover a pride of lions feasting on a dead zebra. In the spree of poaching, the poachers manage to kill lions. But they miss the pride leader. While setting a trap for the head lion, the men fail to realize that it is close by. Poachers emerge with their faces and throats slashed, as the lion leaps from the field and attacks another. It is the safari vacation of Nate Samuels and his two daughters, Mir and Nora. Their trip will be guided by Nate's friend, Martin. Welcome to Mopani, guys. Aside from that, Nate and his girls are still grieving the loss of their mother, Amal. Amal died of cancer and Nate was not there when Amal died due to his work, and Mir expresses anger toward Nate. You missed it. Truly, agreed to separate. Got us another bottle before we can't stand up. Afterward, Nate regrets the experience. As the family heads out on safari the next day, Martin leads them along with his friend Banji. After stopping, they see a pride of lions that Martin raised from cubs, so they greet him with friendly greetings. See the way it works with lions. Leap onto it. Start ripping it. Hello. When Martin tries to approach a lioness with a bullet wound in her paw, the lioness growls at him, forcing him to retreat. Continuing their journey, the group finds a village that seems abandoned. After entering the houses, Nate and Martin discover many villagers' corpses, having been attacked by the lion from the slain pride. Just need to walk away for a second, okay? Jesus Christ, some of them are my friend. In their ongoing search, they come across a wounded man. When Nate attempts to administer first aid to him, he dies. Martin leaves on his own. When Martin sees the lion, he fires a shot with his rifle. In an attempt to check on him, Nate spots the lion approaching. A lion chases him back to the car as it attempts to break in. Nate and the girls attempt to contact Martin, whose leg has been badly injured by the lion. They try to help him, Nate guides him via walkie-talkie and stopping the bleeding. A tranquilizer rifle is found and Nate tries to spot the lion with it. When Mir spots the location where Martin says he is, she steps out of the car to try and help, while the lion shows up above a rock. The lion attacks Nate as he attempts to tranquilize it. Is there any landmark that he can find? Stop moving the car! Stop rocking the- Where are you? and Mir manages to reach Martin on her own. Nora managed to stick a dart in the back of the lion as it chased Nate, and Mir was able to get Martin back safely. While trying to locate help, the group stays in the car through the night. Also, the lion's tranquilizer wears off more quickly than they expected, so it continues to stalk the area. Nate dreams about the lion chasing the girls. Nate tells Mir that he loved their mother and regretted not being there for her. They hear a voice through the walkie-talkie and calling attention to their location. When poachers discover the group, they take their guns to them, believing Martin is an anti-poacher who killed some of their men. Suddenly, they hear the lion growling and then attacking everyone. In order to save the girls, Nate must take the poacher's van. No. 
Martin tells the girls to run to the van when the line approaches the group's car. In an attempt to get through the window that it had earlier broken, Martin pushes the line down the hill along with the car. A lion tries to grab Martin, but Martin ignites the leak and blows up he in the car. The lion also sets himself ablaze. Where's Uncle Martin? On the way to their camp, Nate stops at an abandoned building to give mere medical help since she was injured by the lion. The lion then appeared and approached Mir and Nora. Nate, who was looking for a walkie-talkie, heard Mir scream and came over immediately. The girls are hidden by Nate. Nate comes up with an idea and starts to create noise to draw the lion toward him. He runs into the field which is located in the same area that Martin showed them the pride of lions. <laughs> Nate then fainted and saw a vision of ammo, and also heard reinforcements had arrived. The next morning, Nate wakes up next to Mir and Nora in the hospital. They finally understood their father's purpose, by bringing the lion to the other lion's area, so the other lion would kill the lion. Also, they tell him Banji rescued them. You knew that the other lions would kill him to protect their pride. The family continues their vacation and takes a picture next to a tree where a huge flock of birds are flying. If you like this video don't forget to subscribe, because by subscribing you have supported me to make better videos. What movie do you want next? Just comment below. Have a nice day. Muchas gracias aficion. Este para vosotros. Sí.